Hi, I'm Reen Wilcox, an owner of Embroidery Garden. And yesterday I did a live demo on making patches. And here's the patch that I made. And in the demo, I said that I would show you how to create the lettering. So that's what this little video is going to be about. So let me go ahead and share my screen. I am using um, Designs and Machine Embroidery's uh, digitizing software. It's called Perfect Embroidery Pro. Let me bring that up. So here's the software opened. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on text. I'm going to click on the uh, screen. And over here, it opens up the text tools. I typed in for my patch, be creative. And I wanted another line, so I'm going to hit enter. And on that line, I put be different. So you can choose your fonts. Now, these that have this little M in front of them are all of the small fonts. They're like micro fonts. So they're designed to stitch out well at a very small size. So I chose the Arial, and um, it, you can see here the height said it's about a quarter inch high. I could change that. I could make it as high as I want. Under type, I'm going to change this to circle, and I'm going to click apply. And basically, this is how I created the lettering. Now you can go back and click on it and you have the ability to edit. Like if I wanted to space my letters out a little bit or move them or rotate them, I could do all that. The patch that I created was three inches and the lettering is about a quarter of an inch. So I need to change this overall size. If you look up here at the top, um, the width is about two and a half by almost three inches. That's not gonna fit on my patch. So under this icon, the transform icon, I can change the size. I'm gonna make sure that maintain aspect ratio is checked. And I want the overall height to be 2.75. I'm gonna go ahead and hit apply. And you can see it changed the size. And that's exactly how I created the lettering to put into my blank patch design. If you were looking for the B, the B is um, one of the Perfect Embroidery Pro free designs, and it's located in that folder. Here it is right here. And all I did for the B was it has a shadow underneath it, and I did not want that. So I just went through and deleted all the parts of the shadow. Um, there's another way to do it, but that's just a quick way for me to show you. And that's exactly how I created the lettering on the little uh, patch that I did. I'll put this video up on YouTube so you can refer back to it. Again, the software I used to do this was Design and Machine Embroidery's full digitizing software called Perfect Embroidery Pro.